I've got another Halloween tutorial to show you. This one is going to be a Sally face paint. And this video is brought to you by Face Paint Forum Shop. I'm your artist rep, Lily Santoyo. And today we'll be using the Tag Mystic Fairy Garden Cake. I love this cake because it's not just for pretty girly things. You can use this in Halloween too. Alrighty, so I'm starting off with my always Wicked Art sponge. And in my, under my left hand is just a regular napkin, a paper napkin. And so I'm just covering the eye. That way later I don't have to clean off as much with a baby wipe. So here I'm creating a small butterfly shape. And we'll do this on both sides. Alrighty, so this area here is where Sally is going to go. And we're going to use the teal shimmer part of this cake. And we're going to go in a circle. And I wanted this to kind of create this sort of glow behind her. So now I've got my half inch angle wash. And I'm picking up some of that white shimmer that's really beautiful. And this is powder blue. And so I want to create that pale blue color of her face. I'm going to just go in all around in a circle and then create, she's got sort of a, like a pointy chin, so I'm going to make sure I don't forget that part. Now we've got Superstar Valentine. I love this red, it's very shimmery, but it's also really vibrant, it's dark. So we're going to create her bangs here with a little Cornell run number five. Now we'll go ahead and color in the crown, which is the top part of her head. Now, Sally's got like pin straight hair, really, unless it's in the wind. So, uh, we're, I'm not going to make her hair super, super crazy wavy, um, just a, a small wave in her hair. Now I've got my low Cornell run number three loaded with Superstar White, and I'm creating her eyes. I'm making sure to go in an angle. It's sort of like... Her eyes are kind of like egg shaped, but at an angle. So now I've got a little Cornell run number five, the one I used for her hair, and I just created the heart shape for her mouth. Now I've got a little Cornell run number two, and we're gonna outline the shape of her hair. And she's got like thin lines throughout her pin straight hair. So once we get to the inside of her hair, what we're gonna do is create a very light touch so we get those thin lines and we're just going to shape the lines in the way that her hair is going there we go now this side Alrighty, now we're going to outline her eyes. Again, try to have the lightest touch and have a thin line here. We're going to do her eyelashes. And don't forget that Sally has very tiny pupils. So we're going to use the lightest touch to add some eyes right here. Now Sally gets stitches. So I believe they're on her right eye. Now we need her mouth. Her mouth sits pretty low on her face. There we go. And now we'll add her tiny little nose and then stitches around her mouth, of course. 
All right, now for the eyes, I wanted to create sort of a mask shape, but we're gonna use a spider web. So we'll start here and then create a thin line all the way down to her eyeliner. And pay attention to the direction that the spider webs are going. All right, and now for the spider web itself, um, what I'm doing is, is kind of paying attention and doing it a little crooked, like offset, so that it looks so much more Halloween. Now for this last one, I'm gonna turn the spider web line, the teardrop around. You see how it goes the other direction? It's basically mirroring the top one. So I'll show you again here. We'll go the other way. And that last teardrop that I made is mirror reflection to the very top teardrop. We'll fill in those spider webs. And here, because I had a little extra space, I decided to do a bat. Alrighty, and then we'll do his little bat wings. He's kind of a chunkier bat, but there's nothing wrong with that. Already in here, um, I was gonna add a spider, but I decided to add more bats, but sort of like they're going off in the distance, flying away. We added some dots here, and then loading my low kernel run number three, we're gonna add some tiny little eyes for our bat. Now we'll use the same low kernel run number five with Valentine Shimmer and fill in her lipstick. I think this color matches really well because of Sally's hair. All right, we'll just fill that in and add some shine on her lip, just using white. And there's your Sally design. I hope this is super popular for you this year. Remember that you can get all these awesome, amazing products at Facebook Forum Shop.